logging on to InsidePunch.com, I'm Sergeant Sexy, and I am proud to announce we've officially teamed up with the esteemed professors of Roberto Travis. Yes, InsidePunch.com presents to you the Arsenal, where you can log on every single week and learn a brand new Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu move taught to you by none other than the professors themselves. Punch.com, the arsenal. Hope you liked last week's technique um, of the double attack. Got a chance to use it like just about every technique you do. You're going to have to re, uh, revisit it from time to time. So you can always check these videos out on InsidePunch.com. Um, what we're going to do again is go into that same general theory from last week of not giving up on a failed either submission or attack or something along those lines. And always also making sure that you're aware of improving your position. Jiu-Jitsu is all about position. Uh, a fight could last 20 seconds if you get the right submission, but if it lasts three hours, four hours, five hours, you're in some sort of uh, altercation or what have you, you need to know how to get to the better position at all times. A lot of times people focus on the flashy submissions. Well, get to your positions first. A lot of the white belts, blue belts, and even some purple belts can always uh, focus on those details. So what I'm going to show now is a double attack again from the close guard. Except this time we're going to go from a submission to a better position. All right. So I'm going to come in here to the close guard position. All right. Now what I want to do, of course, for the for it is always try to set myself and, and make sure that I that I'm in good posture, um, that I have a good good presence in my guard. I'm going to take my hand and uh, and control his wrist. Notice how I grab, not with all. All the fingers, I just grab straight over, all five on one side, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is open that up, and if you turn this way and get that little angle, there's a nice little gap right there. That's what I'm aiming for with my other hand, but I'm gonna do that as I go over his tricep, all right? Now, one more time, turn this way, check those feet out. So I'm here, I open my guard and put my feet flat. This gives me the leverage. Look, if I try to keep my guard closed and sit up, look, my angle is all bad. So I do want to plant my feet on the mat, squeeze his body a little bit. He's never going to forget where I am, where I, th that I have some control over him. Now, at the same time, I'm going to sit up now. Look how much easier it is for me to sit up. I have my elbow on the mat to post for balance. I take my hand and come under, and I grab my own wrist exactly the same way as I have his. Now, a lot of people finish the Kimura by sitting straight back, okay? I want to sit at an angle. And my leg on that same side is going to help me create that angle by shooting high along his back as I go to sit. Now I make my leg heavy on his back. I always, anytime I want to get on an off angle to sweep or submit or anything, I always want to try to do something to keep his pressure broken or something along his back so it stays heavy. I have the grip. Now I'm going to take this hand and push it to this opposite side here, straight up, and get the submission. Now a lot of people respond, and, and of course you're, from time to time you're going to be rolling with someone that's heavier bigger or stronger, what have you. And as I go to do the submission, he starts to straighten that arm out, okay? Look, the arm is already set in a lot of position. You don't have to be a genius to do jiu-jitsu, but you do have to be able to see your openings. So notice how my hand is free here. I take it and trap his arm and bring it across my body. Now, again, just like last week, and, and as always in jiu-jitsu, learn to move your hips, okay? So I'm gonna hip scape out and sit up. Now I take my hand and I reach for his lat muscle. I don't go for his arm. I just go for his lat. And I use my body to block his arm. So when I trap his lat and pull my body in, it's going to be tough for Josh to bring his other arm back across the body because my body is blocking it. Now all I have to do is stay nice and tight, continue to work my way. Sit up here for a second, Josh. Look, the leg that was across there has already made the first hook for the back. Now I'm down, one under, one over, and I secure my second hook so I have the better position. So even though I didn't get the Kimura, I'm now still able to work chokes, and I'm not in any danger, and Josh is in all the danger. All right, thanks a lot, Josh, appreciate it. Don't forget to check out InsidePunch.com, the arsenal each week for a new technique. Check out last week's technique, and now you got to.